Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? How's the family? Today I am starting a new series on my channel called The Frightful Film Diaries. Stay tuned every day in October for a new video from me highlighting one of my favorite horror films. Now these films can range from super goofy 80s B-rated flick to movies I'm afraid to watch alone in the dark to movies that just scared me as a kid even if they're not really actually that scary or good. Now without much further ado, let's introduce the first film. Ever wondered what it would be like if children took over a corn maze and started a cult? Look no further than today's film, The Children of the Corn. Children of the Corn is a 1984 American supernatural horror film directed by Fritz Kirsch. The film is an adaptation of Stephen King's short story of the same name and is known for its eerie depiction of rural terror. The story is set in the fictional town of Gatlin, Nebraska, where a cult of children, led by a boy named Isaac Croner, played by John Franklin, worships a malevolent deity they call He Who Walks Behind the Rose. The cult believes in ritualistic sacrifices and is hostile to any adult who ventures into their territory. Children of the Corn is praised for its atmospheric tension and the sense of isolation it creates in the cornfields surrounding the town. The film relies on the unsettling nature of children being the antagonists, adding a unique and chilling dynamic to this horror film. Children of the Corn gained a cult following for its effective combination of rural horror, supernatural elements, and the eerie portrayal of children as malevolent figures. The film's success led to multiple sequels and contributed to the enduring popularity of Stephen King adaptations in the horror genre. Okay, so this movie is one that I watched when I was probably a bit too young to watch such a movie. It absolutely horrified me, uh, and also the concept of kids my own age, and a little bit younger and a little bit older, raising absolute hell in this town was just something else. So the scene that really got me the most as a kid, and it also got me again when I watched it as an adult a couple days ago, the first scene, the very first scene of this movie is absolutely savage. That's the only way I can describe it. So the opening scene of this movie is actually kind of horrifying. Uh, this might be a spoiler, so if you haven't seen this movie yet, click out now. If you have no intention of watching this movie, keep watching, you're fine. So let's set the scene. A lot of people in the small town just got out of church. They're in the diner having breakfast, brunch, what have you, sipping their coffee, eating their eggs and hash browns, and just having a good time. There's this little boy, a little rosy cheeked boy with milkshake, just hanging out, being a kid, enjoying life on a Sunday morning. Then he starts noticing that some of the older teenage kids are sending each other signals. One is outside looking in, into the diner. He's kind of the ringleader. He is the ringleader. The server, the lady server, she's also one of the teenagers. And then there's another boy in there um, who is just waiting for, waiting for the call. So they all exchange hand signals and then one goes up, locks the door. Then they start passing around something from teenager to teenager. They're, they're passing something through the diner. They hand it to the server. She pours a little packet, whatever they were, whatever. Mystery, what, what could they have been passing around? She pours it into the coffee. Then it shows one by one, these honestly sweet elderly people. I mean, I don't know them, but they seemed very salt of the earth. They seemed just like, innocent people who this terrible thing happened to, one by one, right after they're even done saying, this is good coffee, like so sweet, this is good coffee. And they all start choking, right? They all start grabbing their throats and they fall back. The ones that don't die from the coffee are attacked with, I believe, machetes, some sort of uh, large knife instrument. And they, they meet their fate right then and there in the diner. And that is how the movie starts. As a kid, my friend, that was damn near traumatizing. Now, if anyone's ever curious as to why I am kind of weird, why I am the way I am, it's because I consumed a lot of media like this from a young age. I really have always loved horror movies um, for the better or for the worse. They may have given me nightmares for a big portion of my childhood, but who cares, man? I'm cool now. I'm dressed like a weird mix of Velma and Harry Potter and Tina from Bob's Burgers and I really got it going on. Just kidding. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like the video, subscribe, comment, let me know your thoughts, and I hope to see you all tomorrow. Bye.